State. Um, I mean, it was just it was just nice out against us. I mean, both times we played him, um, he was a phenomenal player. And, um, obviously, he's blocked the gun, so I'm a little biased. Um, <laughs> And I apologize if you've already been asked, but what? how would you describe what it was like playing for Duke last year with everything that you guys went through? Yeah, I mean, it was really a truly, uh, it was truly a blessing. I mean, it was a ton of fun. Got to play under Coach K. Obviously, played with some phenomenal players. And, um, I mean, it was definitely a lot of fun. When you see the attention that, you know, Zion and RJ, you know, like getting your teammates, does it, like, give you some motivation? Like, all right, in the next level, all right, it's, it's, it's my time or something like that? It's time to go regardless. Um, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily too like, into all that, but um, it's definitely time to go. Cam, you were the first of those three guys to commit. Uh, did that change your experience that you were expecting it to? Uh, when you, and did you anticipate to be the focal point of the team? Being um, yeah, a little bit, but I mean, my main priority was going to get, get um, improve as much as possible. Um, so I feel like if those two guys came in, I would get uh, even better. So I mean, I just you know, I encourage them to come. Cam, what do you think RJ will bring to whatever team he goes to? I know the guys asked you about that before. Yeah, I mean, he'll bring, you know, aggression, competitiveness, and leadership. I mean, he's a great guy to be around. Um, I mean, like the teammates will love him. Um, I mean, he's just a great guy to be around. If he ends up with the Knicks, how do you think he'd handle New York? And I mean, his dad played at St. John's, his mom's from New York. I mean, I think he'll, I think he'll be fine. I mean, playing at Duke this year, he had a lot of attention on him. Um, so I, I think he's ready for that. Cam, how good is Kobe Wayne? Uh, he's extremely talented. Um, I mean, it's harder than I thought, too. Um, but he can, yeah, he definitely can play. Cam, what do you think you didn't get to show this year at Duke playing alongside, you know, so many other talented players? I, mean, I feel like I had a tremendous opportunity at Duke. Um, I'm not going to knock anything or anything like that. But overall, my, my experience at Duke was phenomenal. What's well, the biggest misconception about your game and about uh, you as a person? Yeah, I'm just too laid back, really. Um, obviously, I kind of have a calm demeanor, and that's just kind of how I am. But um, I don't think I'm too, I don't think I'm a laid back person like that. You get sick of hearing that? How do, you, how do you overcome that? How do you fight against that? Just stay in the gym. Uh, stay in the gym. Uh, stay ready. And um, just look forward to what's next, really. Are you the one of those guys who kind of hires their fire? Or, you know, you keep it, you know what I mean? I kind guess of. You say that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have, you t have you talked to uh, Mo Bamba at all about his experience in the league his first year? Yeah, I talked to him yesterday. Uh, he called me yesterday just trying to give me some tips on how to just, you know, be myself. Um, don't worry too much and just go out there and just enjoy it all. Um, told me to you know, make sure I'm working on my body, you know, getting stronger, getting ready for the league. And, um, but he's definitely been you know, a good help for me. Could your high school team, could your high school team compete with your college team? Got some talent on this squad. I don't know. What would your message be for Pelicans fans if, if they end up getting Zion? What, what they're in store for watching him play every day? Um, enjoy it. Good luck. Good guy. <laughs>